Hi, in this installation video we are going to show you how to get CodeScan running inside Sonar Cube. Uh, CodeScan is a uh, code analysis, static code analysis tool for uh, Salesforce, Apex and uh, Visual Force code. You get various metrics and uh, code duplication um, checks and um, I think currently we have over 150 uh, various uh, it types of issue checks that we run over Apex and Visual Force code and um, you'll, we'll, we'll, you can have a look at the video on on the feature guide uh, for co uh, CodeScan if you want um, but in this video we're going to show you how to get it, uh, the tool installed in this video we're going to use Sonar Cube 4.3 uh, so I've downloaded that from the Sonar uh, cube website 4.3 4.4 is um, works but um, there are a few small changes we have to change with the, the, the runner and we haven't released that yet so it will run very soon 4.4 so 4.3 is downloaded you'll also need Apache Ant from the ant.apache.org and you'll need to grab the CodeScan plugin from villagechief.com site uh, you click on products and on CodeScan and um, and here you download it from here. The latest version is 3.1. Uh, there's an installation guide there, which is we're going to basically do the same thing as in this guide. So you see we've got uh, all the prerequisites. I'm actually only running 1.7, but that's okay. Um, oh yeah, and Java 8 is currently broken. Uh, unfortunately, something is wrong with Sonar Cube with Java 8. Um, it's still being looked into. Um, so the first thing you need to do is uh, extract the, uh, the Sonar Cube and and the plugin. And what we need to do is uh, grab the Sonar Salesforce plugin and then the version number .jar, and um, basically copy that into the extensions plugins folder in the Sonar Cube folder. And that's basically the installation process. Okay, then the next step is we want to um, get the, the runner set up. So the runner um, is, is basically, you, you, you can run the Sonar in, in various different ways. You can, uh, basically, it's, it's just a standard Sonar plugin, so there's nothing special, but uh, because of the integration with uh, uh, Salesforce, what we, we do need an extra step, which is to get uh, download the code. So this is our ant build file. Um, uh, you might need to change your, you know, some of the defaults. For example, if you uh, you should really use um, uh, MySQL for your Sonar installation, so you'd want to change that there. Um, what we do is we take we take this template now template contains just a few little settings uh, the project key and the name the Salesforce username and password and the URL so if you want to attach to your sandbox for example might be different and we have uh, some source code management uh, setting here which we'll, uh, we'll look at in, in, a, in a different uh, video I, I normally just uh, make a copy of that uh, that, that template and um, and I've pre-filled in all my details in this uh, uh, settings file, so I'll copy that in. First, we need to get uh, Sonar Cube running. So it's just a matter of typing in um, running the appropriate uh, version. So it depends on, obviously, what type of uh, machine you have. I've got a Mac, so I run this um, Sonar console. Uh, you can find some instructions on Sonar on how to actually run Sonar if you get stuck. If you get stuck, uh, Sonar Cube's running, and what we're going to do is uh, run this ant build file. But I normally run it from within uh, the subfolder, just so that we don't have to, so that we can actually run multiple projects in the same uh, folder structure. So what we do there is we go into the runner 
uh, actually, this is mine here, and we go ant f ant build. Now, uh, and then the, the command. So um, I think analyze is the uh, is, a, is, a, is a combination of, so we delete the source, download the source, and then run the analysis. So we can do that one by one, or in this case, we do all three commands together. So what, what it does is it takes that the ant Salesforce ant migration um, uh, jar file, which is a um, it comes straight from Salesforce. Uh, so we use the just the download aspect of, of, of that toolkit. And um, so we have to provide a the package file, which is um, uh, you would you might have seen this in uh, in something like um, your your Eclipse uh, toolkit uses the same so, sort of uh, format. So you really only need the Apex uh, classes, triggers, and the components and the pages you can use as well if you want. So I've got uh, by now the downloads. Okay, so this has failed. I forgot to put in the code scan license. Um, so we'll just quickly do that before we go ahead. Uh, you need to go and log in. So your standard login is admin admin. And you need to go to settings, Salesforce, and you need to copy your license into here. Um, you can get a, a license from license.codescan.villagechief.com. You fill in your name, company, email, uh, and then uh, request the license and we'll email the, the uh, license to you. So as I said, you will copy and paste the license into this here and uh, you're good to go. As you see that we've done that download, I won't bother re-downloading everything, so we'll just only just run the sonar aspect of this. And so you might have guessed that we can actually, if we want to, uh, we can skip the whole um, um, process of downloading if you already have downloaded the code from for another reason, if you're running a, uh, a continuous integration server for something else, for example. Or if you want to run it directly from your Eclipse code for something like that. Right, so we run Sonar and uh, you may need to do some other configuration to the Ant uh, script. But um, uh, the the installation guide has a link there to help you um, on configuring the ant task if you need. Right, so we're up to the analyze phase here. So this and the documentation tells you a bit more about what other types of uh, commands you might be able to use. But this the basic one is just to analyze. So uh, the, what it's doing now is it's running all the tests. So you can set up, you, you don't have to do this. You can, 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 you can turn off uh, uh, disable running of tests on the Salesforce platform, but it's kind of handy to run the tests um, because then you can get your, uh, you can see if there are any tests uh, failing uh, at a glance. Um, and you can also see your code coverage from within um, Sonar. So it's kind of handy to have all of these metrics in one place. Okay, so now we've um, finished running the job and we can jump over to the Sonar Cube um, instance and we can see that there's a new project 